Hey, John C. Denise Richards and the lovely Lulu. Welcome back to another All Things Home. This is where we'll be talking about all things home. Yes, in and out, around. We talked about that last time, all those prepositions, in, about, above, aboard. You remember, did you have that song growing up? Uh, no. no. Okay, we did. We had to learn the song with all the prepositions, which is great because there's a lot of them. Well, there are. You reminded me of what they were, as a matter of fact. Yeah, that's what those <laughs> things are, in and about, above. Yes, yes. Uh, welcome back to another All Things Home. Today is March the 16th. Happy March 16th day today. It's an exciting day for quite a few reasons, but we picked two. What's two. one of the two that we picked from? It's a national no-selfie day. No selfies, there guys. There will be no selfies being taken today. <laughs> Don't do that. No selfies. Uh, so no selfie what day else? today. What else? Did, we got panda day. Oh, that's have very Have you ever exciting. seen a real panda? I don't think I ever have. A, you know, not even at Bush Gardens. I don't think they have pandas there. You know, I was at Bush Gardens a couple months ago, and I did not see a panda. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I did see a panda when we were up north. We went to a zoo in Pennsylvania. Mm. They had pandas. In we, Pennsylvania? Yeah. We borrowed them from China. <laughs> well, I'm sure. <laughs> Well, John, anyway, you know what tomorrow is. Wait, that's right. Wait, that, they really did at the zoo. They borrowed them from China. Like, China loaned us pandas. Just to borrow to put them in the zoo? Yeah. They had a panda exhibit. That doesn't seem very humane. I mean, you can't just pick people up and fly them across the country for no good reason. It's a good reason. They knew we were coming to Pennsylvania <laughs> to see the pandas. Anyways, all right, yeah, so what's tomorrow? March 17th. Well, I'll give you a clue. Give them Hmm. a clue. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone out there. It's a wonderful day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Especially those that are Irish. Are you Irish at all, John? I may have a little bit of that in my blood. Mm -hmm. I got a smidgy poo. Do you? Smidgy Mm -hmm. poo? Okay, so happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody out there today. We are so glad to celebrate St. Patrick's Day with you. Drink your green drink and whatever else you guys do that's green. But don't get carried away. Don't get carried away. We as most we get carried away by decorating our dog in a green background. That's the extent (laughs) of Denise's eye getting carried away. Hey, let's do this. Last video, if you missed that, you missed a humdinger. A humdinger. That's a good word. Humdinger. It was probably one of our best episodes. I think so. So if you missed that, watch that. Boom or gloom, the real estate housing market. What's going on? That's the question. Are we going to have a boom or are we going to have some gloom? Now, in the last video, we don't do too much on predictions, but we like to use the past. It's called history Mm -hmm. because it seems to repeat itself. It's also called statistical data. Yes. So we use that on our last video to help you understand if we are in a boom or a gloom. So without giving away the answer, watch that video and you'll see what our thoughts are there. So let's talk though today. Our topic today is about foreign buyers and how they're returning to the U.S. housing market. Mm -hmm. Does that affect us here in Southwest Florida at all, you think? I'm sure it must when we are um, experiencing such a housing shortage right now. It's it's definitely got a... a do we get foreign people. buyers? Oh, we definitely do. Um, Where do they come from? Where's our foreign buyers from? Uh, Brazil right now comes Brazil? to top of mind. I know Canada? that they're going through a campaign electoral issue there. Uh, Canada for sure. Um, yeah. And, and in the lending world, we call these folks uh, foreign nationals. Foreign they nationals. can certainly buy homes here in the United States. And I think some people out there may think that it's hard for them to buy homes here or there's challenges in them buying homes here. But really, John? Just extra steps, not challenges. That's though. it. You help them through those. Now, listen, I'll tell you an embarrassing story for me early on in my real estate career about 12 years ago. This will be good. Oh, it's so embarrassing. Another humdinger? It's a big humdinger. All right. And I almost messed up, but I didn't. Thank God for brokers to help you stay on track. So I filled out a contract, and, you know, on our contracts here, it talks about uh, is this person a uh, foreign citizen? Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't think my buyer was a foreign citizen uh, because he was from Canada, and I just assumed Canada was the U.S., I just wasn't quite clear on that geographical line. Are you that sure that across. wasn't just early in your real estate career? Maybe not early in elementary school? Elementary school, <laughs> high school, all of those things I dealt with. Okay, let, I didn't get an A in all of those geographic classes, whatever they're called. But anyways, uh, yeah, but Canadians are foreign buyers. I don't know. 
I thought it was just part of North America. They are. They file tax returns and have credit reports just like us in the United States. So why are they foreign? They shouldn't be foreign. Let's fix that. All right. Anyways, foreign buyers back on topic since we're moving off of it. Foreign buyers are moving back to the U.S. And I saw this article and this is what we wanted to talk about. This one specifically talks about um, foreign buyers starting to migrate more into the Miami area and how we're getting a lot of people like you alluded to earlier from Brazil because of political reasons they have things going on there right now mm-hmm. some turmoil people wanting to come up and live in south florida miami is a great place for that because there's so many cultures in miami very so, diverse very diverse so if you're coming from brazil there's people already from south america in miami so you probably feel like home you probably can connect with the community pretty quick there so uh th- it, it's happening a lot it, this article also talked about people in new york how they're getting a big influx of buyers coming in as well too one of the things this article talked about was how covid shut that off and it did it really slowed us down in south florida specifically with international buyers because they couldn't travel across the border they couldn't come from canada uh canadian government really had it tight on them you know there and then people couldn't fly over from Europe. You couldn't really travel around the U.S. for, what, maybe eight months, ten months? It was a long time. I, I tell you, John, to, you know, to, to in defense of what you said earlier, um, you know, I, I never really realized how different Canada was from the United States until mm. COVID. Mm. That's What's what, different? What did you see that was different? Well, then? I saw them sanction citizens' oh, bank right. accounts because they didn't want to get the um, vaccine. That's yeah. not something that can happen here in the United States. Well, it's not happening yet, and hopefully it won't, right? The government taking over bank accounts and you helping serve somebody. I remember the trucker situation they had there in Canada. You know, people were giving money to those truckers to help their families and stuff, and the government started taking over. So mm-hmm. anyways, thank God for America. Thank God for our freedom state of Florida and all the influx of people coming here from other countries, too, yeah. seeing how how grateful we are in this area and how we are able to still work, how we're not restricted in a lot of areas as of yet. We're not restricted. We can serve. We can go to church if we want, not go to church if we don't want, whatever. We have the freedom to do that in the That's government. Right. Tell. So we're thankful for that. Boy, we just went way off on that. Yeah, we, we did. But we get a little passionate about these things sometimes. Oh, we're passionate about the Freedom State and... Ron, All things home. And Ron DeSantis. Oh, and Ron DeSantis. I heard he's running for presidency. Oh. Um, I don't Is think it's true? official yet. He didn't. He didn't call us to tell no, me really? yet personally. He, didn't call you. He, he would call you first. Of course he would. You'd be the first to know. Not his I wife, know. his kids, his family. Denise would be the first to know. Hey, let's connect them with somebody today. And I love this guy. Now, I've known the Clarkster, as I like to call him. I've known Clark for years, probably eight or nine years now. He is just a great guy. Now, Clark takes care of pest control. You know Clark? I do. Clark Stroder is his name, but it is fun to call him the Clarkster. I call him the Clarkster. He's brilliant. He is brilliant. He knows animals, pets. He even knows pets because he's got dogs and stuff. But he basically gets one of your unwanted guests. Yes, he says. And not your relatives. No, no, no. talking no. about relatives. No, no, no. He says if you have four walls and a roof and a floor, you don't want anything else getting in there. But what you want in there, he's the guy that takes care of that. He takes care of it. He takes care of my home. Has for years. He helps me keep all the roaches and ants and spiders out. And yes, we do have those here in Florida. So Clark's a great guy. Give him a call if you need help with your pest control here in Southwest Florida. He covers everything from Marco Island all the way up to, he goes to Fort Myers, Lehigh. He really covers this land. He's really grown. He's done so well. It's been fun watching him gain his success. He's awesome. He drives a big orange truck and so does his crew. So if you see him driving around, give him a quick wave. Give him a phone call. Tell him John and Denise sent you over to him. That's right. Anything else we want to talk about all things home today? Uh, I think you covered it, John. This was probably our nice best job. episode so far. Yes. Just hit like and subscribe if you would below. Before you click off this video and go to your next one, we would greatly appreciate it. We are banging close to 400 subscribers. Oh, my gosh. I know. We had a huge jump over the last couple months. Thanks, Do you remember for way watching. back in the day when we got real excited about 100? 100. We were dying to get 100, and we finally did. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Thanks for being a part of our channel. Thanks for watching every week, sharing, liking, and thanks for your comments below. Have an awesome week. Bye.